Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. It's always such a blessing to have you with me studying the Word of God. I, I try to imagine what it's like as you're listening. Perhaps you're listening in your car, in your home. Um, who knows where it might be, but I'm praying that it's a blessing to you. That just this little tiny devotional is inspiring you to know that Jesus Christ loves you. He cares about you. He cares about your life. He has a purpose and a plan for your life. And he wants you to know him through his word. That's why we study the word of God. And it's why we go to him in prayer as we begin our study. Because the Holy Spirit is our true teacher. Let's go to him in prayer uh, as we begin today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you want to be involved in our lives. And I pray today, Lord, that you will bless every person under the sound of my voice. That you will bless all of us with your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. And Lord, to empower us to live according to that truth. So that our lives will be a blessing to you. That's what we desire, Lord. And we're just so grateful that you care about us so much. Uh, Lord, we thank you for your word. And we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, Does Our Judge Law Judge Before Hearing a Man? And it's taken from the book of John, chapter 7, verse 51. The apostle John wrote concerning Jesus how, Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spoke like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? But this people who knows not the law are cursed. Nicodemus said unto them, He that came to Jesus by night being one of them. And in chapter 7 and verse 51 of his book, John shared how Nicodemus asked, Does our law judge any man before it hear him? Where we read, Does our law judge any man before it hear him? and know what he does? The verse reads, does our law judge any man before it hear him? John began with the words, does our law, which means, do the religious leaders' rules producing a state approved of God judge any man, which means put asunder, produce an opinion concerning right or wrong, resolve or decree that a certain or particular person, whether male or female, is subject to censure? before he'd hear him, or in advance of being endowed with the faculty of hearing, attending to, or considering that person? John shared how Nicodemus wanted to know if their rule of law produced an opinion about a person in advance of that person being heard. The verse continues, and know what he does. John added the words and know, which means and understand, perceive, and discern what he does, or that which the person has made ready, produced, or performed. John continued Nicodemus's question as to whether they would judge a person before they knew what he did. When we think through John's words in this verse, we learn how Nicodemus asked whether the law would allow someone to be condemned in advance of knowing what that person did. His implication was that these religious leaders were doing this to Jesus. Though Jesus came to be the Savior of the world, not everyone believed in him. And some people were ready to condemn Jesus before they even knew what he did. John knew this in advance, or God knew this in advance, and he sent his son Jesus to the earth anyway. Every person who puts their faith and trust in Jesus will be forgiven of their sins and inherit everlasting life with God. But those who reject and refuse him will find they have judged themselves for their eternal destination apart from God. Next time, John shares how the Pharisees asked Nicodemus, Are you also of Galilee? And say, Out of Galilee arise no prophet. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.